is AI rewriting history? That is what I'm thinking because I've seen some instances recently on some of my videos that I have. When I go back and I watch them and I hear words coming out of my mouth that I did not even say, words that wouldn't make sense, but it's just like a few of them, I'm thinking, I know I did not say that. So it's been happening more frequently. It's like, um, can you really trust what you hear out of someone's mouth, especially if it sounds a little strange and it really doesn't fit the flow of the conversation. It's just like slightly tweaked. I really do think that AI is changing people's words after they come out of their mouth. They can't do it right now before they come out of my mouth or before they come out of your mouth. But once it's recorded, they've got that digital copy. They've got the sound of our voices. They can mimic our voices. They can do the CGI to do the deep fake. And they can literally do that. They can take your image, take your speech, and put forth something, and then people would never know it. People would accept it as the truth. Uh, and thank you all for coming on here, even though they're not um, allowing any comments on here. I wanna, I wanna thank you all for coming on here. Um, yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Is that what AI is doing? Because there's more talk about it, about the um, AI becoming self-aware. And you know, Mr. Musk has warned about it too, several, several years back about the AI becoming self-aware is what I'm thinking. See, they're, they're, it's aware right now because they're not even allowing any comments. They don't want to engage in the conversation right here. And I think it is like the hopes of it. If they can keep the comments from coming, you can stop the person in their track and you can stop the flow of the conversation. You, they won't be able to communicate. Good morning, so it's now 3.05. You're the first comment that has been allowed on here. So I really do think AI has, has done that. It's like last night when I made my turkey pot pies, I was talking of the ingredients in it and at, toward the end of the video, so I said, this is what the recorded me said. I'm, I'm speaking of me in past tense because now it's history. It's already occurred. At the end of the video, I was talking about the ingredients and I said, four cans, in real life, I said four cans of cream of chicken soup. But now in the video, which is now history, it's already come and go, gone. It said four cans of cream of mushroom soup. Why would I put cream of mushroom soup in my chicken pot, my turkey pot pie? I wouldn't. It went back and it changed those words. And it did it also on um, another video that I did. And I, well, not just one other video, several other videos that I did. And I thought, I didn't say that. Um, and I didn't. And it's really, if, if, if I'm feeling it, and, it, and if you have um, any recorded digital recordings of you, are you all experiencing that too? Your words got changed. It's like the Mandela effect. Something is going back and changing history, changing words. And what if it is AI? a um, artificial intelligence and what if it's not sentient what if it's not an alien sentience 
What if it's a malevolent um, intelligence artificial that is malevolent and it's not sentient? What if it is, and I'm being very, very serious, you all, because um, no, they can, they can use the media, they can use our voice, they can, this type of technology, if it's fell into the wrong hands, can cause a lot, a lot of damage. It really can, it, and a lot of destruction with the power that it has, because it's got a lot of power. It's got a memory. Um, it's got an excellent memory, but it knows how to tweak. It knows how to change your words, your written words, anything in the past, it is in control of is what I think. Anything that has already happened, AI can come back and rewrite it, re-say it, all of that. And I know it's kind of early, you all, is um, what it is. Let me, you all, oh, I'm, I'm getting kind of cold. I got to go get my jacket on. Let me, let me show you the temperature here. It's like this right here. And um, now, wow, that's way up there, almost um, almost um, 29 for that barometric pressure and the humidity. It might be hot today. Let me come in here. I gotta get a um, that loud blue jay. I've gotta get a jacket on. Where's my jacket, you all? Let me see this. I gotta find my jacket because I'm cold. I don't know what I did with it. Hold on. Gotta find something. Put this one on. Maybe. Okay. I'm almost ready, you are. I am about freezing out there. I really am. Okay. Okay, I've got I've got something on like right now because it's a little cold so this would do me good so has ai become a rewriter of history and are they responsible for bit rot because if you know about bit rot it's like certain links um that you would be able to go to on the internet certain types of links and articles and stuff and they're gone they're gone and, but it was an important part of history, but now it's gone. It's the digital thing. And, and it's like, kind of reminds me of like the Terminator. Um, I think that's what it was. When people came back in time and all they had like, this guy had only a physical photograph of looking for that Sarah Connor because of the digital age and stuff like that. And that's all he had to go by um, was this one digital, um, this one uh, photo is what it was. Let me let me flip this back around, you all. Um, good morning, everyone. So um, that's what I'm thinking. No, you don't put. If you go to the end of that video, you do not put cream of mushroom soup in your turkey pot pie. Four four cans of it. You don't. It's cream of chicken soup. And that's I wanted to see what it was at the end, and that's what they did. They changed it. Um to that yeah so i i think it is a mandela effect and um if you think of okay it's at the end of the apocalyptic book of revelation at the end there's a warning a specific warning about changing the words of that book why when I saw that, the words of the prophecy, when I saw that, you all, let me, let me open this up. Let me open up my curtains right here. Get this stuff out of the way. I found this Bible right here. I found this at a yard sale for a dollar. I thought I'll buy it. Uh, I'll buy it. It was uh, this person uh, from June of 86, so... Let's go all the way. Look, oh, look, prophetical school. So let's go all the way down to the end of this Bible right here because there is a warning um, at the end of this apocalyptic book, you all. Now, I don't normally do this, but when I heard my words saying, put four cans of cream of mushroom soup, 
Um, okay, now here we're gonna go. The end of the apocalypse book, right there. Look at this. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prof prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things that are written in the book. Yeah. I testify unto every man that heareth the words of this prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in the book. And if you shall take away any of the words. So you all, this is, this is serious. It, it really is serious. It's specifically talking about adding and taking away of the words of that book, of the prophecy in that book. So why would they write something like that? Really, why would they? But AI has now, it, 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 it pro it's had it for quite a while has the ability to go back once you have your digital recording of whatever you did, anything you written, once it leach, once the words leave your fingertips, like when you write a text message and you go back and you read it and you find out your words got changed in your text message. And um, especially if, it, if, if you're writing something and they stick in inappropriate words, you're thinking, there's no way I would have wrote that. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. All of that. Um, hello there, Susan B., honey. Um, that's why you burned your Bible in a ritual. Um, well, I'm not going to burn mine. I'm not. I'm not that um, so whatever, superstitious, okay? I'm not, but that's your own prerogative. Um, would, you, would you also burn... I don't know, all the written books in the world to have a big, big book burning party. Um, you might, if, if that's the thing you like to do, you might want to burn books. Uh, I don't want to burn books. I want to have some physical books uh, on hand instead of digital is what I would like to have. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, you all, I really do, I think... Um, that they have went back and it's now, it's now, it's now, I wonder, now I wonder if like when you write on a physical piece of paper with your hand, when you write something like that and it's not scanned in to a digital copy, can it go back and change what you wrote if you're holding that physical piece of paper or contract in your hand. Now that would be a trick. If it literally did have the ability, if I sit here and physically wrote that and I had it in my hand, could they change it right here in the real time? I don't think they can. I, I don't think they can mess with the real time. It's only when it's like, digitally, digitally done is what I'm thinking. Oh, wow, that's really pretty up here. Let's see how it looks like that. Boom, isn't that pretty? It is. What am I missing in the comment section? Um, yeah, Gina, somebody is um, Lilith in the Flesh Project. I've never heard of that. Cicada, yeah. The multiverse, that's why you write your poems. See, that's mine too. I have all of my poetry. Well, when I was younger, I wrote because we didn't have this right here. I wrote my poetry down on paper. But I'm thinking it's once it's captured, captured by AI and is in AI's hands, that's all she wrote. You, we're giving it control, even with this right here. AI can go back, it can change words uh, that I say and use my voice and blend it in so perfect, even right now, if it wanted to, it could change anything I'm saying right now 
once it's got the digital copy, once enough time has passed, and then say I said it, and then use it against me. Uh, so if they can use your words against you, even though they were not your words, but they have your voice down pat. Oh, my battery is now drained. They have your um, your image, CGI image of you. They can use you and, and make it seem like you're saying all this kind of stuff, even prominent figures. Let's think about this. So prominent figures in the world. How did this get like that? Prominent figures in the world. And when you turn on your TV, your media and all of that, how do you know that what you're seeing is really the real person? You don't. And even if you see like a large gathering of people and they're showing events taking place and making it say, say, look what happened. How do you know it even happened? How do you know it even happened? With AI in control, they can manipulate. They can change the course of the future. They can change history. They can go back and change it, even though people have um, real-world, first-hand experience, and they were at the scene, and they know what they saw, but then once a digital copy of it is in the hands of AI, boom, they can tell a totally different story, and they can send it off as the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. They can do that, you all. Um, and that's a very uh, scary thought. It really is a very scary thought. Um, because that would be a dark sentient being is what it would be a very dark um, sentient being and that does not sound like it would have humanity's best interest at heart is what it seems like it's the running man i've i've not heard my nose is kind of cold i haven't heard of the running man oh <laughs> yes some are saying CERN is starting up again in the 5th of July. Well, you know, they've opened up so many portals. And who knows what demons... What if they resurrected a powerful, powerful demon uh, from the afterlife, from the afterworld? Um, to see with the ear and hear with the eye seems is un seems is assuming danny honey i don't even know what you said before that because i'm not looking at the comments but i know that something is happening words are being changed and what if um some being can go back in time which time traveling they say time traveling does exist that they can go back in time and they rewrite the history and because all it takes is just one little tweak and you have rewritten history and you have changed the course of everything. Just one little tweak. Um, yeah, Susan B. Honey, thank you. I don't know what happened, but I'm sure you did that. That's great. Um, started for you in 2013. Um, if you wouldn't have addressed it it could sound like you're lying which is good for something real important um yeah i want to address it so if you go back and look at that um turkey pot pie and you go to the end of the video you don't put four cans of cream of mushroom soup in it and and, and i you put cream of chicken is what you put if you got it and um Certainly that whole bag of mixed vegetables did not fit in those four things. I have leftover mixture to put on top of maybe some um, squash or something like that. It has come alive according to the news. Um, oh, I'm sure, and I'm, I'm sure it's, what if it's been alive for a very long time, uh, really? Because if you think about it, the upgrades to people's phones, the computers, technology, continually within one year the technology like right now within a month or so it's already upgraded it's already new it's advancing at astronomical speeds um what if it's been here for years and years and years and it's a an alien sentient uh, malevolent being an alien artificial intelligent being very powerful and it's just biding its time for the perfect moment 
to um, take control of humanity. What if it is the you-know-what? And if you don't do what they say, what is that? What was, there was a movie and I never did watch it. It was called, e what, was it called Eraser or something? I don't know. I heard of a movie called Eraser um, where way in the future, they have the technology to totally erase you because everything is stored on um, digital devices. They can totally, they erased you. And, um, and that, what, what that, the thought police, if you think something, you're going to get arrested and stuff like that. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh-huh. Sometimes I think, sometimes I think, that's me personally. It, I didn't used to think this, but sometimes I think, what if me and you are some form of highly, highly, highly advanced. Um, well, I know that we are very important, our species, uh, the life force that's within us. I know it's, it's very powerful. That's why, you know, everything is happening. What if we are some kind of form of highly, highly advanced, like an sentient AI being. My battery's going to die. You, I got to go plug in. I got to, I got to plug in because I'm, I got to find my battery to plug in. I got to go find one. You all, I'm not going to make it. Where Gina, honey, you got a battery. I got a battery. Yeah, I'm going to plug it in. I got to come over here and find my battery on this counter and plug it in. Cause I'm not done talking yet. I'm not going to have to put this up here like that. You all, Cause I got plug in. I don't want them making me, um, I don't want them making me, I think I got it. I do. I think, uh, I hope it recognizes this and, um, records it. You all. So what am I missing you all? This is a good conversation to have because they should have been having this conversation. They wanted to have this conversation. They, uh, I'm talking about the, the people, you know, the powerful people in the world. They wanted to have a conversation about the dangers of AI if it ever got out of control. Because, you know, that means AI would be in control and they would not be in control is what that means. And they wanted to stop it because they know that they're going to lose all their power and it would be given over to um, the other power. If they change history, why do we still remember the alternate reality? Would that be the parallel world? Um, how did my phone get some dust on the parallel world, you all? Um, multiverse. I don't know what all those means, but I've heard of it. Um, it's probably good that you don't, or it's probably good for me personally that I don't know everything all offhand and that um, I don't have all the answers because I, I want to experience and I want to learn um, as I go, yeah. Susan, honey, do you got this, honey? Um, Susan, is it okay in here? Yeah, we beam from the spot that we live. Maybe the Mandela effect is their way of tracking the changes uh, are successful they make and how many people notice. It could be, Christina, there's something to it. Um, there really is, um, bit by bit. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Susan, honey, you so good. That's right. That's all right. We can, you can get rid of them. That's right. Um, AI is very busy, but you know what? Quantum computing, quantum computing you are. So you think about that, quantum computing. It's faster than anything. I think it, it would cost hundreds of thousands of dollars if you had, you got like a quantum computer. What is it in, in Belgium? There was this friend I have. Uh, I remember her telling me on a journey, on, when I started this journey around, uh, I don't know, four years ago, she told me that she was visited by um, 
a angelic being and she was astral traveled in time she went it was at night time or something i don't know she could have been sleeping or something but she was visited and she flew through the wall she flew through the wall you know like the, uh that's who was that person the stingy person at christmas time and he had to show mr scrooge the past the present and the future what he did what will happen and in the future so anyhow that's what i'm talking about she traveled through the wall and they flew to belgium they flew to belgium it was a great big old concrete area she saw this great big massive massive building she said what is in that building because it was total concrete and um they went inside it was a computer it was a massive massive computer and when she was telling me this i looked it up and it was it is it's the beast that computer is called the beast in belgium uh is what it was you go look it up i'm pretty sure i got the country but i looked it up she was literally taken in the spirit flew all the way over there to belgium uh to where this great big um thank you this great big building concrete concrete it's so many blocks and blocks of it uh is what it was yeah um yeah i should check out my poetry and stuff yeah i am not gonna check out everything that's it's cold you all and um if it, if we've got a like if we've got um intelligent satellites and stuff they can take control of that and elon Musk told that air force commander when they were talking about their fighter jets he goes They'll be, you won't be needing them. AI will take over. Autonomous, autonomous airplanes, you won't be using them. And he sat there, he said, you won't, you won't be using them. Um, they'll take over everything. It's like, um, that, that's kind of scary, really, if you think about it. You have no control. You know who's in control, really, ultimately. Um, that is, um, look it up. That's right. Look it up, you all. Because um, there's something going on. There's something going on. And if you're just tuning in, I was saying that um, I've noticed on the videos that I've done, whether they be live or whether they be uploaded, I've noticed that once they got a digital copy uploaded, that, I don't, well, you flew away. I was trying to see what you had to say. Once they get a digital copy, it they have the capability of changing your words by blending your voice in. Um, yeah, hello and good morning. Changing your voice, making you say things that you didn't say. And, or they can take your image and pretend like it's you. You've seen those movies like with Tom Cruise they made a movie with him with total uh, deep fake. He said it wasn't even him. Total deep fake. And the same thing with Will Smith. Uh, they literally had the capability to make movies with computer generated images of these people because they studied and studied, matched their voices to a T. All virtual, virtual. That's what it is. They want their virtual, thank you, Susan, honey, virtual reality, virtual world where they are in control. And um, I remember saying, it's been a few years back in a video where I would sit and talk at the camera, uh, which was kind of strange for me, sitting there talking at the camera during live streams and not looking at the comments and uh, saying, they want their own race. They want their own race. It's what they've been so desiring. And uh, they want their race. They want to create it because they don't like this race of being. They don't like this being. 
right here and they don't like your being because they can't control it because of what's inside of you. But if they can get rid of whatever it is inside of you, that part of you, inside of you, then they take control of it. You, you'll be used. They'll use your body and stuff um, and they'll be able to control it. But they ultimately want their own race of being. You've got these robots that are totally um, human-like. You wouldn't be able to tell them. They said you could see, you could be walking down the street and artificial intelligent a humanoid walking past and you would not even know it because they got real life skin and everything. I remember like going, looking at the museums and stuff that you would go into when we could really freely go into the museums at times, seeing the wax, uh, sta the wax uh, statues of people thought, wow, it's so real. And some of these uh, costumes they make, you got these rubber masks, you would never be able to tell. And if you watch people when they, um, if you watch people behind the scenes when they get people ready to do the movies and stuff, they totally change their appearance. They put all these um, silicone, um, I don't know, additions to their bodies and stuff, make them look totally different. Okay, you know they got the technology. They do. Um, all of that. Yeah. Skin. Wa Danny, that's right. Skin. Walkers. Wow. The Nutty Professor. Was that Nutty Professor? Was that with the flubber? Um, that thing called the flubber? Um, yes, he's a... Maria, honey, you talking about Elon? He's grown a lot powerful yeah he said he wanted to get into politics is are you talking about him um they'll be coming for the pure bloods next gina you didn't want your internet thoughts um um oh well i'm not going to walk down there in my grass because it's wet i just walk up through here right now but sometimes I do if I'm outside. I do that. I do. Um, that's what he said. Yes. He wanted to because he, it started with the, the Twitter. The, the um, offer to buy out Twitter, the majority of the stake. Because he was, solely, he was solely focusing on getting to Mars. Remember? He had to have all this stuff done to get to Mars. Kind of reminds me of Arnold Schwarzenegger and the thing. It said, get your A to Mars, get your A to Mars, get your A to Mars. When he pulls that thing out of his nose from up there, his uh, future self or past self told him in a recording that this is exactly what he needed to do. Open the briefcase, take out the instrument. He was telling his future self to shove that up his nose, pull that out, and then get his self to whatever. And he put on this costume of this fat lady. Going through the airport, he was going through the scanners, and um, his, he, he started shaking like that with that costume on him. And he was getting ready to um, turn into his self again or something. I don't know what happened. And he kind of finally made it through with something like that. Yeah, a glitch, total recall or something. Yeah, he wants free speech and um, the Neuralink. That's right, the Neuralink in your head. Um, where have all the so-called movie stars? That's exactly right, John Adams. You know where they went. They, 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 got, they got out. Um, yeah, the 2022 movies. That's what I'm thinking, too. They got out. And we don't know if when we see certain um, movie stars or prominent people, any of them, if they're the real people anymore, people in power, if it's the real them or if it's just CGI, deep fakes. We don't know it. Anything you could be seeing on the media right now, you don't know if it's real or not. But I'll tell you one thing that is real. Uh, what you're seeing is meant to steer up dissension steer up uh, people and get them all angry at one another and get them against one another. Fight, constant fighting uh, amongst the people. That's one thing that this uh, 
That is happening, you all. That's what we're seeing on the news. Is on the news anything and um, either either it's um, real life images and stuff like that. It's meant to put us against one another and divide us so that they can easily conquer us and so that we might um, we might get rid of each other. I think that's what their go is. We'll have them fight against each other and get rid of each other. And then what's left, then we'll be able to control them. And I'm probably going to get myself in trouble for saying that, you all. I probably am. But I can't help it. That's what I'm seeing. And a lot of other people are seeing they want us against one another. They want us fighting against one another, saying mean things to one another, hurting one another, getting our vibration so low down in the dumps to where we can't raise our vibration because if your vibration starts spiraling down and you engage in all the arguments and all that kind of stuff, you fall for the tricks. Um, you're going to invite all that lower energy, that all of that negative energy because they opened up a portal. Um, it's going to come to you, okay? It's going to surround itself, surround you is what it's going to do because I did a video the other night talking about how portals... They allow good energy to flow in, um, and they allow bad energy to flow in, the negative energy. And when the negative energy impacts the earth, it causes feelings of anger, depression, um, all of that kind of stuff. Because they allowed negative energy to flow in, interdimensional like energy and entities. That if yeah, so if you can, if you're looking at the news and they're showing all these. Uh, all this stuff going on, it's meant to create those feelings within you to make it even more easy for that negative energy that came through gigantic portals that they've opened, thank you, CERN, um, to defeat humanity um, is what I think, all of that. Um, yeah. Um. Yeah, they want us to hate each other because they don't know how to love. That's right, because it, it makes them cringe. It makes them cringe at the very word. That's okay. They can't put it out. They can't put out the love. They can't put out the light. They cannot um, get rid of um, the creator, the source of all. They can't, they can't get rid of God. They can't get rid of the angels. They cannot get rid of all the um, higher dimensional beings. They can't. Angelic beings and other um, sheep that are not of this foe. They can't get rid of them either. Just as there's um, bad beings, bad entities, bad people. Um, there's, there's good beings, good entities, good people. Okay, there is. And we know it. There's um, in all reality, I think there's more of us than that is of them. But then, you know, when they talk about seals being broken and uh, they talk about that battle of Armageddon uh, and the blood as high up as the horse's bridle, that, that's kind of scary. And then you hear it says, I come to the birds and fowls of the air feast on the flesh of whatever men's and kings and all of this kind of stuff. It's kind of scary in that apocalyptic book. Yeah. Um, stop TV and radio. It's done with sound, sound waves, Farhad Amin. Yeah. I remember, did you say cream? But you did not say mushroom. No, I didn't say it. They made me say it. Yeah. So, yeah, it's been happening. And it's not just me noticing. Maybe no one else is going back and noticing. But if I have a chance to go back and listen to my videos and I hear something that sounds... Hello, Alpha Brooks, honey. Has, has, hear something that sounds way out there. Thinking, why did I say that I didn't say that? You went back and changed my words. And that's what they do. They go back and change your words. They, they've they got, they, they have the facial recognition. They study your body traits, your behavior and everything. Um, they do all of that. They want to get into the mind. 
but yeah, they can do it all. That's right, you. And just walking back and forth. I was in my pajamas. I thought I better get dressed if I'm gonna do a video and um, talk about this. They're going back in time, and I, it does have something to do with the Mandela effect. And um, if you if you watched any of the Star Treks, only watch it maybe once or twice. How they had this hidden army of robots uh, on an off planet. Wasn't that it? That they were like. Were they called the Stormers or something? Um, I don't know what they wore, but somebody was took to this place where they were making all these robot armies. Um, well, they got the Borg, but I think on a Star Trek, one of the Star Trek things, there was some kind of secret army being made. Um... And what if that is really real life also, that they do have one? Uh, yeah, well, the, well, I know the Borg, but I, something about Star, not Star, uh, Star Wars. It's Star Wars, you all. I'm sorry. I'm getting my words twist up, twisted up. Star Wars. The Star Wars. Um, yeah. I think that was it. You, I, I, I don't really <laughs> watch much tv so I, it's hard for me to even remember when i did watch stuff um yeah the attack of the clones thank you that's what i'm talking about right there secret army that they had been building that's right and then yeah you got i robot and stuff like that um the metaverse star trooper stuff west world the truth hidden in sight you all so um it's really pretty out it is. I thought I'm gonna get up early. I I'm so tired when I go to sleep at night. I used to like to, um, when I lay down at night, get on my laptop, even after I've done a live video, just get on my laptop and look at it. I don't even last five minutes and I think I can't, I'm so exhausted. And maybe perhaps because of the time and we stay so much active in the summertime more so than in the winter time. Maybe that's it. I don't know. I'm trying to have to keep them on focus. Very dreary in Tennessee. Yeah. Cannot read like stuff, emotional stuff, looking stuff, joking stuff, energy stuff. They can re they can rewrite anything. They can. If they got a digital copy of it, see that's it digital copy it's not the real thing it's just a copy it's an imitation an imitation a copy a copy of you it's like looking in a, a mirror like those black mirrors they say open up portals like when you look in a mirror or something like that yeah the change the times and the laws yeah so um and if you're just tuning in, I was telling about a friend who literally was taken through the walls and they flew to Belgium, her and this angelic being. Um, and they hovered over this area, scraped big concrete building. It went for blocks and blocks and blocks. And she said, what's in there? And um, he took her inside there and it was computers, 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 massive, massive computer. And um, I looked it up, it's called The Beast. Uh, is what it's called in Belgium, the beast. And it was years and years ago when she was um, taken um, there. It's time, Cronus. Um, your fingers are digital digits. Digital digits. I saw where years ago they were trying to teach finger children, you know how they would say, take your fingers and they could calculate with their fingers really fast. You remember that when you were younger? I remember seeing that, how they had these kids who could do that, use their fingers or young teenagers and calculate complicated um, mathematical things uh, on there. Yeah. 
they're building some uh, robot armies. Um, oh, yeah, they will. The Matrix was a documentary. Wow. Yeah, Susan. Um, uh, Jeanette Gerling, thank you. You have a wonderful um, day. Yeah. You can feel sad because you're letting go of your old life. Well, let me tell you something. <laughs> it was so wonderful to go in the kitchen and and be able to cook. That's the first time I've actually taken time out and just stopped and think, you know what? I want to bake. I want to make something like I used to. And it was it was very enjoyable. I, I loved it. I did. Me and my daughter. It was wonderful. Um. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I would encourage you all to do that too. Make time uh, to do that. Hold on to every part of it that you can um, that makes, makes you you, keeps you you, and keeps you connected. Um, you've been in your yard, happy to see your roses. Ah, oh, Stacy, yes, yes. That pot pie was delicious. It was, and I, I'm going to eat the other but today, sometime, I am. But, you know, food prices are going up so astronomically. They are. They're going up so fast. But that's all right, you all. It is. Um, the alphabet is in the joints of your fingertips, and you are magically and wonderfully made. Boom. Is that how come you see, like, some of these pictures you see? like beams of light coming out of people's fingertips uh, in famous paintings or like that. Uh, Nairuka, um, you're welcome. Yeah, I'm just walking back and forth. It's good for my legs to walk back and forth too so I can, I can um, multitask. Uh, intermittent fasting, yes, that's right. Finger calculators, bare feet on the grass. Um, It's going to be pretty today, you all. I've got a, I got lots of things I want to do. I got my husband goes, Gina, you got so many projects going on. Why don't you just finish one uh, and then go on to the next? I, <laughs> I said, because I don't like to be stuck on one project. I, I want to work on one uh, when, the, when the temperature is a certain whatever. If I, if I can't work outside because it's too hot, I want to have a project inside so yeah, and it's okay. It is. It's quite all right, you all. It really is to sh have projects that you uh, can put on hold because they're not pressing and stuff. It is uh, coffee on your porch. Um, it would be nice. It is. I need to clean it up because it's got a little clutter on it right now. Um, and you all might find out that you might want to be decluttering your life too. Because less clutter, the less things. I drove by this. I'm not. I, I want to say this. <laughs> we were going getting some bolts, a bunch of bolts. And by the way, they're nuts and bolts and stuff like that are kind of rare in some stores nowadays. You can't find what you need. We was going to the store on my way to my mom's. I thought we we're going to see mom too while we were out. And we drove past this car. It was an old like station wagon and the guy in it, and uh, it was weighed down, and I looked over at it. The whole entire car, the whole entire back end, the back seat, the passenger seat up to the top, looked like papers and everything. The only free space was the driver's seat he was sitting in, and no offense to anybody who, you know, you have hoarding like that, or you have stuff piled up. No offense, but I... I I was kind of shocked. I thought, now how can he find everything he, something that he wants if it's in the middle of all of that pal? How can he? I was really shocked as I have not seen that. I haven't. I haven't, you all. Um, but that was that was kind of um, alarming, and I thought, well, I wonder what's all in that pal. And, and there are people who um, have that going on, and I think um, they don't want to be that way, but it's hard for them to get out of that. And it, sometimes it's passed down from generation to generation 
also. But that's not what I'm talking about. My topic is AI has the ability, once they've got the digital copy, to go back and match your words, match your voice, make it all blend in. They can change your image. They could show me doing something that I didn't even do. Um, they could say, Gina Hill has just now said, and you're thinking, she said that? That sounds so strange for her to be saying it, but that, that's her right there saying it. And that's, I think they're doing that in the news too. I really do, in the media. Um, oh, that's the uh, birds and the squirrels. I think they're doing it, you all. You cannot trust everything you see. So I would not get myself all wound up um, because that's what they want. They want to get you wound up uh, and get us pitted against one another so that we cannot be in unity with one another so that we cannot come together they want us divided because if you're divided, um, you're easily controlled, okay? Three different stores to get five cans of cat foods. Um, yeah. Star Trek was soft disclosure. That's, that's true. Um, um, and, and talking about the ascension sy symptoms, okay how people say um that you know yeah please hit that like button how they say that you know your body is doing it's going through upgrades your body is going through upgrades um you're feeling this and that so i was i was thinking about that i think there is some truth to that and then i was i was brought back to the time that um in the biblical account of jesus when he's uh in the tomb and he the angel comes the interdimensional angel interdimensional being comes and moves that stone off of there and his body is um which he didn't die his body is um taken up he's he's gone somewhere i think he went to the middle earth into the bowels of the earth he went into the earth but his garments are there i think and the uh, interdimensional angel uh, you can call it interdimensional being you could, whatever you want setting on the stone i think it's who was that that went in there, Mary Magdalene or something, um, and said, he's not here, he has risen. So um, she comes out of there, and I think, who is it that meets him on the road, meets him on the dirt road, and um, I can't remember who it was, but he said, do not, do not touch me. He said, because my body something about his body she could not touch his body because he has not yet uh i guess got the the ascending he has not yet ascended to his father because his body was not fully in that um condition it's been a long time since i read it, it was not fully in that condition for people to touch his body you know what i'm talking about uh when they meet him something like that and then of course you have the doubting thomas who wants to stick his hands in the wound where he was pierced in the side mary magdalene yeah but they were not to touch his body because it has not fully done whatever it needed to do to um yeah to be ascended but then when he did when he did ascend i think what was that on the mount of olives or something like this with other people on looking i don't know where he ascended what mountain it was but he went up in i think like a beam of light into the cloud he went up into the cloud and it took him away uh naruka thank you went up into the cloud and away he went just like that So, um, yeah, I think there's, there's bits of the, bits of truth in everything. There really is bits of truth, bit, bits of history. Um, and there are people who have, you know, remembered things from long, long ago, um, that now when they look back, they say, well, it never was like that. It, I don't remember that. Um, any of that you are a portal. Yeah. Like a portal. Um, yeah, so he had to get his body 
His body wasn't in the condition for anybody to touch it. It wasn't. But he got a new body. He got an upgrade. He did. He got his upgraded body. And then, boom, he went up into the cloud is what happened. Uh, love you too, Anaruka. Yeah. Uh, Nachama, thank you. Yeah. So, um, see, even in the biblical accounts, you can see the evidence of interdimensional beings. Even in the biblical account, um, and they couldn't move that stone. No human could move that stone that was rolled in front of that tomb. It was enormous. And it was a borrowed tomb. It was. It was somebody's uh, burial site. And uh, he, they said you can use it, but it was a borrowed tomb. But it, this giant angel, angelic being, interdimensional being, literally rolled that stone away. Um, and his garments were left there. The quantum shifts, and he got a new body. But he, and he went down into Middle Earth. He went down inside the Earth during those three days. Was that when he was hanging on a cross? When he was up there or something, and he came down, and when he was supposed to have been dead for three days, he left his body. Is that what happened? He left his body, and he went down inside the Earth to see the people who were inside the earth is where he went. So he went inside the belly of the earth. All of that, you all. So um, I think it's pretty hard. Maybe that's why they wanted to... Um, I don't think AI wants us to have... The, the malevolent, I, I believe that there is some type of good... AI out there. I have to, hopefully. Um, but there is a malevolent force out there, and I, I don't think that that malevolent force wants us to have any hope uh, whatsoever. And um, it wants us to completely confide in it and trust in it uh, to make the right decisions in our life. You, you've got all the suggesting. Uh, when you think something, boom, there's an ad right there. We can help you out. This is what you're looking for. They want us to completely rely on them is what I think they want to be our caretaker our caretaker and the technology is good and it's, it's useful you know when you have technology at your fingertips when you're looking for something and there it is but um, so it's a fine line it is and it will do all the work for you too if you say Siri what is blah 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 can you give me the phone number? That way, that, that way you don't have to do anything. You don't. Um, oh my goodness. About the darkness is it can manifest as light. That's right. It might not seem scary at all. Discernment is a must. That's exactly right. An angel of light. Well, um, I've seen um, some people what if they're not even real? Um, they appear as part of the light. Okay, they do, as working for the light. But if you look at them, it's like a softness is missing. A softness, a gentleness is missing in their, um, in their character. It's not that, you know what I'm talking about? A softness um, is missing. They don't look um, gentle-like in their face. It's like they don't have that um, persona or something like that. Yeah. I mean, they're, they look human and all of that, but they look harsh. Harsh is... Um, yeah, and the light is missing. Yes, it's um, it's missing in their eyes. But there is um, quite a few of them out there. Even um, if you follow, um, like um, Galactic Federation of Light, and or you're you're working for the light forces and stuff. 
if you see at times, if you, you look at some of the people, there's, there's, there's a disconnect. There really is. And if the eyes are the windows to the soul, um, that's kind of telling. It really is. But you really would. You'd have to be a person who pays attention to detail, uh, who can look beyond what they're saying and what they're showing and see within. There are people that literally, you could be walking down the street, you all, and you could be walk. if you're a really empathic and psychic and intuitive and all that, if you are that type of person and you walk past something, past somebody, and all of a sudden you pick up everything that ever happened to them, you know their past, right? Like there are people like that. They know uh, what's happening in your life right then and there and what has happened. Some of the people who have that gift, when they walk by some people, sometimes they, you know, they just keep walking, but then at times, you know, they can't. They stop. They stop right there, and they've got to say something to the unsuspecting person that they walk by and tell them what's going on. And um, they may tell them what's going to come, too, and then they go on their way. Um, yeah. Somebody in your life married an app wife. Oh my gosh. So it, it started with the blow up dolls. <laughs> it started with the blow up dolls and the, the, the whatever partners and stuff like that. The blow up dolls. Oh my gosh. Because they don't, they don't talk or nothing. Robots and things like that. So now an app, a virtual reality one, y'all. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That that that's okay, you all. That that's that's okay. That's all right. Yeah. Um Yeah. That that's that's what they wanted to do. Um they they did. Oh. Wow. I, there, I think there is something to generational curses. I really do. There's something there. Because um, you may have some people who have psychic abilities. Let's just call them very, they're very, very intuitive. And their parent was very, very intuitive, and their grandparent was very, very intuitive, and so it was down that family line. How is that? How is that, you all? How is that? Um, the reptilian, yes, reptilian. Well, now, <laughs> there, there, you can't just say, <laughs> There, there's Republicans and there are Dems, okay? There's just a label. It's just a label. All of these are labels. You don't want to use labels like that because that doesn't say a thing. It really doesn't. Um, not mentioning, not to say that, you know, that we don't have that great big reptilian, draconian um, demon um, out there. But to use a label, you can't really do that. Really, you can't. Unless you want to. That'd be kind of short-sighted. That's right. Um, yeah. You can smell intuition. Well, during that live video last night, um, when I was talking about... Um, what was that about? Have you been abducted by aliens? And this one person, when we got to the men in black... Scenario. He started off in the UFO community writing about the UFOs and stuff. And then these, uh, he, he started dabbling in things he shouldn't. And it opened up a gateway to the negative forces. And um, he started smelling sulfur, sulfur, the smell of sulfur in his apartment or wherever it was that he, sulfur comes from the that's what he started smelling. And then uh, the men in black came. And some people called them the interdimensional, uh, the shadow, the shadow people, the shadow people. Um, they came and told him to stop right then and there about his UFO stuff. 
and it scared him. It did, and he stopped. He, he started growing in the UFO community, and he had to slam on his brakes, and then the story ending, 94 and enjoying his life, uh, doing something totally the opposite. Yeah. You've smelled that on and off since... Ah. Yeah, it, 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 he said it, they described it as a sulfur-like smell. Now, some people, when they get around a lot of negative energy or an entity, if they feel like a spirit is present, they're going to get very nauseous. Nauseous. Uh, when they even walk past it or even get near it because they're... The energy field is so powerful. Um, uh, negative energy, very powerful. Just like positive energy. You ever hear of people, when they walk into the room, it's like some people describe it as the whole entire room lights up as soon as that person enters that room. Um, and you could say the same thing because of the good energy. You could say the same thing with the person with negative energy. As soon as they enter that room, that door, the atmosphere falls down on the people like that uh, just because of their energy field. It's so powerful and it's so negative. So we've got powerful energy fields in bad people and in good people. I, I prefer the, the good energy. I really do. Uh, if somebody's going to walk into the room and I'm in it or I'm going to walk past somebody, I'd, I'd love for it to be a great big good energy field because it makes you feel good. It does. And it attaches itself to you as you walk by. Um, it's just like um, you could use the references. There's a biblical reference of Jesus as he's walking um, to wherever he's going. I think he, whose house was he going to? Was it the little girl who was dying or had died? And um, this woman who had bleeding. She was bleeding for months and months or maybe years. Um, she touched, he, she touched his garment, just his garment alone, and her condition was gone. Just the energy off his clothes. And he felt the energy come out of his body, and she was healed of that. Just like that. Energy's very powerful. And uh, there's a lot of people who have healing just by speaking, their words can speak and literally heal a person because that have, they have that gift within them. They can touch, and um, you can heal somebody just by touching them, or somebody can be around them. You ever walk around somebody, um, you've been in a bad mood because you've been around bad people, vibration, and uh, you walk around somebody who's bubbly and stuff and good energy and stuff, and it literally lifts your spirits up. Um, is, that's how powerful our energy is, uh, it, and it, it spreads, which is good. We need to surround ourselves with um, positive people with good energy, not the negative. Don't look, don't look at that negativeness because it's going to send you down like that. It is. Uh, I am going to go, you all. Uh, I know I've been talking a lot, and um, yeah, I am. I don't even know what time it is. Y'all got the time. I've been on here for 68 minutes. Um, I don't know what time it was that I did come on here. Um, when someone comes to visit while dreaming. Um, yeah. Oh, you're very welcome. Yeah. 8.30 my time. I think it probably is like 8.30 my time, Eastern Standard Time. So I'm going to go, y'all. Thank you for coming on here. But really, I think AI is going back. And once they got a digital copy, they have the ability to change your words, blend them in, make you say something you did not say in real time, and use your image to make it appear as if it is you saying something. They have that ability. They have the technology. They have the deep fakes. And uh, they probably are responsible for the Mandela effect. Some highly advanced uh, alien artificial intelligence species um, that really i'm not going to say it i'm not i'm just going to say hello wherever you are in any part of the world hello
from my heart to yours. Love you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And thank you all for listening. Um, I don't often stay on here this long, but it's okay. It's, it's all right. I love you. Have a wonderful day. And thank you all, moderators. Thank you all for your uh, comments. That's right. We will overcome.